Hello viewers, welcome to this video. For those of you who are using my LXD environment to provision your Kubernetes cluster, I've done a few changes. So one is I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 in Stuff Center 7. And the next important change is I'm switching the Docker, sorry, I'm switching the container runtime from Docker to container D. I did two videos last week around Docker depreciation. So one is this one, Kubernetes drops Docker and a follow up video to that. So those of you who are using my Vagrant provisioning, I've updated the scripts to use container D as the runtime instead of Docker and also I've switched from using CentOS 7 to Ubuntu 20.04. So as promised in this video, I also wanted to update my LXD environment. I know a few of you guys are using my LXD environment so I don't want to disappoint you and we're gonna provision a Kubernetes cluster with LXC system containers and all these containers will be Ubuntu 20.04 with 2 CPU, 2 gig of memory. They are privileged containers and I'll be loading a bunch of kernel modules from the host system and all these will be done by using a specific LXC profile that we're going to create and I've also created a script a wrapper a helper script to bring up your LXT environment so in order to use this LXT environment you need to have LXT installed on your machine the previous video I did about the LXC is this one cube 30 deploying Kubernetes cluster using LXC containers and if you scroll down here there should be another video yeah this one getting started with LXC containers so in this video I've specified I mentioned how you can set up install and set up your LXD en environment. So that's going to be a prerequisite. Once you've got your LXD installed on your host machine, you can follow along. Let me clone my GitHub repository. Git clone Kubernetes and then CD to Kubernetes and then to LXD provisioning. Let me open this up in Visual Studio Code so I can explain you better. The LXC profile that we're going to create is this one. So this is a specific LXC profile that we're going to use for all our Kubernetes containers that we're going to launch in our LXD environment. And the bootstrap script is a shell script that runs both on your master and worker nodes. Right. So first, if you notice here, instead of Docker, I'm using container D, adding the repo for Kubernetes, installing Kubernetes components like kubeadm, kubelet, kubectl, the important thing here is I'm fixing it to version 1.20.0 because I've tested that and I know it works and if you want to install latest version of Kubernetes you can just you don't have to specify the version you just do apt install kubeadm kubelet and kubectl enabling SSH password authentication I've set the root password to kubeadmin as usual if the host name contains master then this this block of code will get executed and in this block we're just doing a kubeadm initialization and deploying the container overlay network and if the host name contains worker then this particular block of code will get executed on the worker nodes it just downloads the joint cluster dot shell from the master and executes it and then becomes part of the cluster okay so that's very simple bootstrap script and I've got this new helper script it's just a simple bash script and it takes two options either provision or destroy all right let's try and bring this cluster up Okay, so I'm in LXD provisioning and I've got the kubelx script. If I do LXC list, I don't have any LXC containers and LXD version, LXC version, I'm running version 4.9, LXC profile list. I don't have any profile other than the default profile. So this script, kubelx script is going to create the k profile and bring up the three machines, kmaster, kworker1 and kworker2 with container D running dot kubelx. So whenever you run kubelx, make sure to be in this particular directory LXD provisioning because the script looks for bootstrap kube.shell which is here and also gate is profile which is here. So the command is kubelx provision and it's going to bring up three machines and I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay the command completed and you can see the list of tasks on the master and on the worker nodes and the command took about four minutes and 26 seconds. We brought the cluster up. Now we need to copy the Kubernetes configuration file from the master machine. All right. So first, let me make a directory dot cube under my um, home directory. I already have the dot cube directory, but anyways, make a directory dot cube under your home directory. And now we're going to copy the cube config file. So if I do LXC list and we have kmaster, let me copy the IP address and SCP root at on etc kubernetes admin.conf copy that to dot cube config the password is kube admin all right so we've got that and now we can do kubectl 
cluster info cool so that's our cluster that's the ip address of our master node kubectl get nodes minus l wide all right cool so the container runtime as you can see here is container d and not docker let's take a look at what's in the cube system namespace all right so everything is running fine we've got flannel as the daemon set we've got hcd core dns proxy scheduler and everything is running fine okay so i want to do one more testing let me log into lxc list and if i grab the ip address ssh root at cube admin okay so we are inside the k master and i can do ctr ctr namespaces list ctr minus minus namespace k test.io containers list okay cool so those are the containers running on my master machine just to show you that we are running container d and not docker so as usual let's do one more testing i just want to run the two containers on two different nodes and then see if we can communicate if one container can talk to the other container on a different node just to make sure that our container networking is working watch kubectl get pods i'm just watching the pods there and i'm gonna run kubectl run alpine just a simple alpine image and again here let's run another container okay so i'm basically running two alpine containers you can see they got created in two different nodes kworker1 and kworker2 let me look at the ip address hostname dash i hostname dash i okay 10.244.1.2 which is this one 2.2 which is this one they are on two different networks on two different nodes we just need to make sure that they can talk to each other so if i do ping sorry not pig ping that's by mistake ping that one okay cool so we can communicate between the containers on different nodes so that concludes my testing and if i close this the container should get terminated because we have passed minus minus rm option and the container is getting terminated cool okay now finally i'm gonna destroy my cluster okay so still i'm in the lxd provisioning if i do cube lx destroy before that i can show you lxc list we still have the three containers and I can do destroy and that's going to destroy all the three LXC containers. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.